What is ISO 9001? Well, first you need to ask, what is ISO or ISO? The organization known as ISO began informally in 1946 when delegates from 25 countries met in London after the war and decided to create a new international organization for the purpose of having an international body to facilitate the international coordination and unification of industrial standards. In February 1947, the organization known as ISO officially began operations. Because a name like International Organization for Standardization would have different acronyms in different languages, like IOS in English, or OIN in French, or MOS in Russian, it was decided to give it the short form ISO, or ISO, from the Greek word isos meaning equal, as in isometric, isosceles. So, no matter what the language, the official acronym is always ISO. Since its beginnings in 1947, ISO has published over 19,500 international standards covering almost every aspect of technology and manufacturing and services. To take care of standard development, ISO has members from 165 countries and 3,368 technical bodies, as of today. More than 150 people work full-time for ISO's Central Secretariat in Geneva, Switzerland. Okay, so what is ISO 9001? Well, to understand what is ISO 9001, it is necessary to first understand what is a quality management system. A quality management system, or QMS, is a set of documented policies, procedures and responsibilities organized into a structured system of processes to assist an organization in realizing its quality vision goals and objectives. And so ISO established a standard called ISO 9001 for quality management systems. It comprises a set of generic standard requirements governing the quality management systems of certified companies or other organizations, specially accredited auditors known as certification body CB auditors are authorized to award a certificate of compliance to the ISO 9001-2008 standard, which is the one current in 2014. This certification must be reviewed annually and renewed every three years. Although it is called a standard, one of the foundational requirements of this standard is that its implementation shall be based on a system of dynamic processes rather than a set of static standards. In summary, the ISO 9001 standard requires procedures for the following activities to be documented and evidence maintained that they are being followed. Control of documents and records, for example, the gathering of customer requirements and the recording of product testing. Control of non-conforming product, for example, to prevent defects and rejects from being sent to customers. Continual improvement through corrective and preventive actions, necessary when mistakes have been made to prevent them from happening again. Internal audits to show that the organization takes seriously its commitment to quality and conformance to the ISO 9001 standard. 
maintaining well-implemented compliance with the ISO 9001 standard helps an organization focus on meeting customer requirements and exceeding customer expectations with processes that are ever more effective and efficient.